welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today I'm going to be taking a quick look at Velocimeter Pro. Um, sorry, I don't have any documentation for you because we, we haven't written any yet, but uh, I'm quite familiar with how it works, so I have a flowchart to explain how it works. But uh, you may have noticed if you're using Velocimeter that uh, these O tokens are now some of the projects, some of the partner projects are starting to launch O tokens. So I have a flowchart to kind of explain how these partners are utilizing Velocimeter's O token model to uh, boost their their uses and stuff like that and to, to get some sticky liquidity and to reward people who, who don't sell and people who provide liquidity. So let's uh, swing over to the flowchart. If you would like to support the channel, I would suggest you to check out the secret sandwich.xyz. It's the secret sandwich NFT project. You can come here, you can mint an NFT, or you can come and check out your NFTs. Okay, so let's get back to it. Okay, so here we are on the flowchart. We have Caesar, and uh, he's the owner of the Caesar token or the Caesar project or the Caesar, Caesar protocol. And he has a token called Caesar, and he wants liquidity with uh, Caesar USDC in this case. It could be any token, but let's just use USDC so it's easier to math out and stuff. So he, approach, he approaches Velocity and says, Hey, listen, I want to gauge um, on, on your protocol. I'm willing to supply these tokens as a LP. And then I'm going to stake them in the gauge and I want some rewards on my gauge, right? So how does he get rewards? Well, he has to ask the, bri the, the voters, the voters who have VE flow or VE FVM, the voters who have locked this reward token are the people who vote on where do these rewards go, like which gauges get rewards, right? So in order to get these voters to vote on Caesar's gauge, he has to bribe them, right? So let's say he has 100 tokens and he bribes $100 to uh, the, the to these voters. The voters look at this $100 and they oh, I want that $100 with the Caesar tokens and they vote on this gauge and that gauge now has rewards. Now this is the normal solidly model per, like as an overview, as a simplific simplified version. Now, how does Velocimeter Pro change this? Uh, basically, they, they've added, they add a factory. They give a factory to the Caesar project, and he's able to take his Caesar token and convert them into options tokens, okay? Options to buy the tokens. With those options tokens, he can still bribe, or he can actually stick them on the gauge as rewards, okay? So he can give the liquidity pool providers directly option tokens, or he can bribe the voters to vote for the rewards with the option tokens, or he can do both, right? Now let's talk about some of the people who get these options tokens. So let's say Boosted Bill, somehow he's got these option tokens. Maybe he's a farmer, or maybe he's a voter, but somehow he got these option tokens. Maybe Caesar just gave him some, right? <laughs> So what does he want to do? He wants to get liquid Caesar tokens. So in order to convert his options tokens into liquid tokens, he has to pay. Okay. So this number is approximately 80% of the TWAP. So it, it could be zero to a hundred. So it can, oh, well, 99, right? So it can be any range the project wants, but most cases it's going to be 80 or 90 or 95 whatever the project wants to charge to get liquid tokens so if we think about it he has a hundred options he has to pay 80 dollars and then he will get a hundred caesar tokens if the caesar tokens worth a dollar right and then what he could do with that is he could sell them for a hundred dollars so think about it he pays 80 dollars that 80 dollars goes into the gauge as rewards on the gauge okay and the he he gets a hundred dollars worth of Caesar tokens. He can sell them for a hundred dollars. So he paid eighty, got a hundred dollars back. He made twenty dollars. And you have to remember, like he's already planning to give a hundred dollars as bribes, but now he's gotten eighty dollars worth of, of of USDC stuck on the gauge to encourage people to to provide liquidity instead of selling. So. Dollar Bill comes along, he sees this, he sees this USDC as an opportunity, he thinks long term of the Caesar project, he wants to provide liquidity, he wants to support it, he wants to farm both FVM or Flow and USDC. So he's willing to create liquidity pool tokens and put them in the gauge. So all of Dollar Bill's stuff will happen inside one transaction, but I'm going to break it into different, different slides so that you can kind of see what happens. So let's say he has a hundred of these tokens. 
and he needs to provide 50-50 to make an LP, right? So he's 100 tokens. Uh, they're worth a dollar each and 100 USDC. Uh, the, the contracts will charge him that 100 USDC and those 100 tokens, and they create an LP and stick it in the gauge. Now he's going to earn the, the, the flow token or the FVM token, as well as this USDC that Boosted Bill paid, right? As well as some more. Now, he has to decide how long he's willing to lock his LPs into this gauge, right? So if he locks it for some number, now this one week and one month is an example. It could be one day and one week, or it could be one month and one year, or any fractions of numbers, right? But uh, And these numbers, the 20 and 80, 20 and the 60, they also can change depending on uh, the, the settings that the project wants, right? So for in this example, uh, if he locks his LP for one week, he's going to pay 60%. So for $100 worth of Caesar tokens, he will have to put $100 into the LP and $60 into the gauge, and he will be locked in there for one week. Okay, and that $60 will come out in one week. Now, the other thing is, let's say he locks it for a month. He will only pay maybe 20%, right? So he will pay $20 and $100 to lock it, and he will put it in there. Now, if there's only these two actors, he's going to be taking all of Boosted Bill's money, and he's going to get back all of his money. But there are other actors inside here. There's going to be a whole bunch of dollar bills and a whole bunch of Boosted Bills that make it much more complicated than just him getting back all his money. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is Grandma here. If the Caesar project has the possibility to uh, mint VE Caesar tokens, right? If they have a VE model inside the Caesar protocol, then this option token can also exercise to the VE token, assuming it's compatible, right? Assuming the code has compatibility. So if he if it does, right, then he she grandma can take her Caesar tokens and she can lock them into a VE Caesar token for whatever this use case is and she can pay as well to the gauge. Now, the, again, this number might go down to zero. They might be like, oh, we want to encourage people to lock, so we won't charge them any to lock, or 1% or 10% or 30, 40, 50, whatever percent it is. So this pretty much covers how the VE uh, Velocimeter Pro works for projects and how they can get, how they can kind of take part in this. Now, keep in mind that this reward token also has like the same mechanics of being able to lock, being able to uh, to uh, exercise to LP, and being able to exercise to liquid tokens, but it goes into a different gauge. The USDC in this case is Phantom going into the Phantom FVM uh, liquidity or the flow token, depending on the pool that uh, the flow velocimeter is using on whichever chain it's on. Okay, so I hope this has been useful and interesting, and thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.